Hey, I'm Kev Kermis. Welcome back to Mods Energy Supercross 3. As it is chucking it down in East Rutherford, New Jersey at the Medlife Stadium. As you may remember, last episode ended with a wet race. And I said we might be practicing for the next race. Well, it definitely was practice. As we've got Benny here as well. Practicing hard was Benny. So she showed decent pace in that kind of team race at the end of last episode. So hopefully, okay, you live there. What are you doing, Benny? It's qualifying. It's not a race. Don't need to get your elbows out already. What? Did you see that? Benny got the boost. He just launched into. Just thoughts into a triple out of nowhere. And now we've lost two, three seconds in that section alone. That's why we're 31st. Let's see if we can have a clean lap. No, they're easily triple in this. We've got Cooper Webb and Liz at the back. So the top two in the championship. Looks like Cooper's improved. So that's not too bad. But it's from here. And now she's casing the join again. Come on, bike. Go. Lost at least a second there. Maybe up to a second and a half. It goes across the line in 20th. It is going to be in one of those weekends, isn't it? As uh, this can lead to a head of Tamak and Webb, the only riders into the 57, 57.5 and 57.8. Then Anderson, Persinger, Bagger, Osborne, Barsha. Tracy Stewart rounding out the top 10. Tevin, the top 20. Liz down in 26th. Three seconds off the pace. Where is she going to find that time? As uh, so we've got Blackburn in 30th and Todd Bannister in 40th. So it might be another struggle to get a top 10 in the main event. But will she make it there in the heat races? As uh, so here she is alongside Tamak and Barsh and Adam and Justin Bogle. Uh, slow getaway. Elbow to elbow Tamak. So he carries the speed through the first corner. And so she'll get the whole shot ahead of Baggett. Tomac, Barsha and Harmon. Oh, there, you go. there we go. That's a triple. Just need to do that every lap somehow. <laughs> As across the line she leads, just ahead of Barsha. Oh no! The bike's still out! Oh, okay. We're figuring out the ways of riding quick. No, she's in sit by Anderson. Just ahead of Alex Ray's Suzuki. And as he tries to block, but this forces away by. Good fight back from Anderson, though. No? Oh, not able to. How did they double that? As we got Tomac behind. Not a great start for Kazaki. Well, they are both for at the moment, and there we go, minute point nine. That's all she gets into hands in the first corner. So you go, easy triple. That's all Barsha blocks the way. And she gets right into Anderson, like, had enough of your, your way, mate. 
Whoa, what's the bike doing? Go! Let's go! Oh my god, what the hell is that? Well, someone's down as well because of the tough blocks. What the heck is that shit show? So now to jump over someone. No! Get out of the way! Down in 15th. Oh, says I don't want to do a last shot to qualify in these conditions. He's probably sinking under that hell of it. Actually, he's alongside Malcolm Stewart for 14th. Up to 13th. Oh, a bit wide. Picks by Stuart and Casey Brennan. So they battle hard. What is Brennan doing? Ultra aggressive from Casey Brennan. I mean, he's probably used to last so much, but come on. Oh, come on. Instant karma for that comment. <laughs> oh my God, this is absolutely abysmal. Unrideable, these conditions in this bike. Now she's in 14th, 13th. Uh, Sakota went down, it looks like. Now she's battling hard with Harmon. And so we're on the penultimate lap. She's not got time, has she? I don't... What the hell? Why is the bike just looping? What the hell? Oh no, she's casing the joint. No, she's gone. She's going to the last chance qualifier. There's no way to recover this far back now. But who can in these abysmal conditions? Like, 12. Oh, she makes the jump. Get back on the circuit. This is a problem when you make one mistake as well, you get stuck in the shit show, which is the midfield. As she blocks off Harmon. There she goes. As the winner's already across the freaking line. What? Oh, she's casing the joint again. Come on, bike. Uh, she's 13th. As Baggett ahead of Bogle. Tom out with a fast lap in third out of Reed, Anderson, Barsha, Ray, Chisholm, and Anjo make it through to main event. This down in 13th. Abysmal out time still. She's going to have to pull something out the barrel. She's even going to make it to the main event with Stuart in 17th. Basta in last. So, once again, LCQ time. So, here we go then, alongside Gardner and Brennan and Scotty. We're on the way. For the LCQ, three minutes and a couple of laps. Let's see if the red plate, the championship leader, <laughs> into the bottom round of the season, will actually make it through to the main event here. Well, she's got the whole shot ahead of Gardner, Stewart, Austin. And Ronnie Stewart as getting shoved backwards by Gardner and Malcolm Stewart. As what are you doing in front, Gardner? As she takes the lead away from those two. 
Let's bike turn. That will do. That's what you're doing, Gardner. Uh, it's making sure it being in it able to get away because Gardner is more interested in just getting in the way than actual racing. Uh, so this is better from this, this, that. Actually keeping up with someone as well. <laughs> and a 59.2. That's it. That's the pace we need to see. Well, we need 57.58. But 59 will do. It's a starting block. Uh, as Gardner and Swanson also making it through. Harmon just missing out at the moment. True, good pace in that Honda. In front. Let's see, we're actually hitting all the points now, is this? In this LCQ that she was not hitting in that heat race. Even though they're still right in her tail behind. So you go 58 flat. Almost into those 57s. That's the co in last with Van Martin. He's trying to chase down Stewart here on this penultimate lap hit. The LCQ. The Stewart must be doing 57s though in front. Oh, he was. Messed up slightly there in that section. That's all great jump into the triple, triple. And then double. And double, double, double. So he does another 58 as we go into the final out of here. It's going to plan. <laughs> For the championship leader, but one mistake could still be out. Is that the mistake? Is that the mistake? Tough block, get out the freaking way. This is not the time to make love to our bike, okay? Wait till after the race, races. Then we'll see you around midnight. Uh, so we've got Gardner in third, Swanson, AJ in fifth, just missing out. So Harmon's gone missing. Let's go into the triple. Oh. Not quite the end in there, Stuart's already crossed the line in first. And there's a cross line in second. She makes it through. As it's Stuart, who did a 57.6. He won ahead of elusive Gardner and Swanson with Austin just missing out on his Honda. I mean, oh, oh no. Then AJ Harmon just missing out Adam as well. Casey Brennan. Ronnie Stewart's on it as Varna. That's what a strong Scott. And then Tevin down in 19th. And we've got Colton in there. So... Once again, just tough to make it through to the main event. What can she bring out the bag in the 10 minutes plus two at that race? The best Supercross riders in the world are lined up in this starting gate here at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Ricky, you have to be in great shape to win in this stadium. The altitude will certainly play an essential role in today's race. Physical condition is all important. We'll see who is able to make the best use of the results of their hard training. Another tremendous night of Supercross racing is about to begin with the drop of the gate. Hang on, it's the altitude that she is seeing here. As well as Swanson. And underway. Uh, it's not the best start from this. 
He does carry the speed into the first corner. He's going to be across the line second behind Muskin. And Webb as well. She's battling for the lead. They expect to be saying those words. Oh, that's on the skin. No, get going. Bye, right, get going. Okay, let's see what happens on the casing now. They just cut your... Seems like they cut your throttle. Uh, that's an interesting way of using... Was it Freezy's head? That's what are you doing, Ray? Uh, she's in fourth? Still? Tries to get down the inside of Pleasanger. That's not working, nope. There's Freezy. Get out of it. We did not mean to use your head. No! Why? See, Ray can do it easily, and he just went off the freaking course. Oh no, Tom out, what are you doing? Shoving this like that. Almost into the weeds. I mean, it is the Ponos around the season. He's not going to have too many more opportunities to do that. Uh, what the hell? Why does the bike keep doing that? Oh, so ahead of Reed, down in eight. He's having a bit of a shocking time at the moment. He's still ahead of Webb. As, oh, Hill doesn't give any room up. As Reed shoving this forward, Ed a web, what a gentleman. Or not, what are you doing, Reed? Everyone's losing their damn minds. Come on, bike, go, bike. So that's the thing, it feels like it just cuts your throttle when you're gazing it, so you can't you gain control that well. Not the best way to replicate landing on our field. Try to just cut the cut the revs rather than throttle, but now she's down in 13th now. And it's not gonna be helped by moves like that. Uh, there's all someone down. Oh it's Chad! Read down. What are you doing, Baggett? Come on, bike. No! I need the boost. See, in this section, he just automatically does it. Like, whatever I do, whenever I land, it's weird. I'm not sure it was meant to say it's wet every day, or... Because I'm losing at least half a second to a second in that last section, no matter what I do. As she's down in 40, in with Barsha. Good battle going on in, in front for the top 10. As who's that going up deep in? That's the mate. And now, oh, who's that down? Anderson. This tries to join in the battle and then gets cluster fucked. What the fuck? Why am I in fourth? I went down to first, surely, did I? Oh my god, down in 18. What an absolute shit show. Oh, in a joke. <laughs> It better not be raining in Vegas, that's all I can say in the season finale, otherwise this championship is far from over. And now the... Go! And now she's down in 20th. Okay. 
going? Oh my god. Can't get this thing to accelerate, brake, carry any speed, do anything this race. That's Gardner, why did you stop there, man? Uh, she's catching up to... Oh, it's not Gardner, it's Angelo who did that. Down in 20th. It's that jump. I don't know why. Best time is a 59.8. So she's got pace if you can just get in freaking clean air. That's these 90. We've got to get past Gardner. Then there's freaking clean air in front. Bike turn. I didn't tell you to go towards the freaking tough block. Okay. Oh, they're appearing out of nowhere as well, tough block. That's good to know. As someone down, or is someone just getting ex exercise? I think they're just getting exercise. Let's go down in 18. There we go, fast as that, 59.4. Muskin leading away to Bogum Webb. KTM party here in East Rutherford. So she is catching up to Chisholm. Oh my god. Bike absolutely terrible. See, you really cannot put the power down on this thing. And only, it only allowed to do one triple as well in that section when she needs to do two every lap. Just not going to plan. I know she does a 58.6, I'm out at that. I've no idea where that's from. <laughs> well, you barely break on this thing. It's only really the tight corners you do. She is catching up to 17 and 16 for at least. Like she might have a bit of a battle going on it. No, come on. Are you kidding? Because we're a inch ahead of where we needed to be. We lose one or two seconds there. And a place. God. Absolutely hate wet conditions in here. There's an occasion where wet conditions have been good, but most of the time around a tricky place like this it is absolutely terrible. It's so tough. Because you have to be so precise with everything. You cannot afford to make a mistake or you're losing seconds per lap. As we just did then. And even then, we're not quick enough. That's a jump ahead of the mate, literally. So up to 17, that's another point on the board. Hopefully it's what you're doing the May. But you did a 57.7. That's actually a decent lap time for once. On the first one of the night. It's got the May. He's not good at battling, is he? He used to be, and now he's just ultra aggressive in the second half of the season. Uh, it's all Chad Reed in 15th. Uh, 
Is everyone starting to slow it up in front, it feels like? Well, it doesn't feel like we're going any quicker than before. She's definitely catching up for a top 15 spot, which could be pretty handy. Another few points. Let's head on to the final lap. So there we go. Time to start lunging. Chad battling hard. No, that was not the place to lunge. Go, as the winner's already across the line. Or a half of that back. There's Chad, start speeding up, man. Or slow down, actually. That'd be even better. Oh, it's no, he's pushed Chad. He's pissing his wide. He's no longer a legend. Oh, it's cost her a point, has it? Oh, she holds on. As after 12 laps, Miskin wins head of Bogon Webb with the fast at 56.8. As it's an all KTM podium head of the Kazaki of the Atomic. And 3C in the top five on his Honda head of Baggett, Stuart Hill, Brayton, and Osborne rounds out the top ten of Plessinger, Joey Anderson, Carl Chisholm, Barsha, Reed, and Liz. And 17 for just six points. And you've got Ray the May, Angelo Gardner, and Swanson. What a time to do her worst race of the year, I believe. As we head to the final round of the season with a 13 point lead ahead of Webb. And then Muskin just a further two points back. It's a three horse race heading to Las Vegas. And then we've got Bagger in at fourth, 13 points ahead of Osborne in the battle for fourth. And the battle for fifth as well. Bogle just. Four points behind the Hasvana runner. And level on points with Tamak now as he climbs up to sixth. Tamak down to seventh. Brayton and eighth head of Anderson. And then a heck of a battle as well for nine through three. C into the top ten of Stewart. Then we've got Plessinger, Hill, Reed. Jerry rounds out the top 15 head of Barsha. Who's up to six in the head of the May. Then we've got Chisholm up to 90 behind Ray ahead of Steely now. Rounds out the top 20. And the top 30 is AJ. Has Bubba up five places. Down five is Chase Blackburn. As we've got Dakota around at the top 40. Josh Quicko down a couple places to 45th. And we're just glad to see the back of that event, to be honest. As there's just one that race remaining around Sam Boyd Stadium. And before I forget, it is going to be the real thing. It's going to be realistic. It's going to be everything. As it is going to be the final episode of the series as well so uh, next time i'll talk about the game as well while we do our races and hopefully we'll see this elusive win the championship uh, she's competing in 18 now race on the fourth of the six wins one a third of them then percent rewards 120,000 team jackpot two team days completed uh, as well as this happening in the championship so in the 250 east we've got austin fortner leading by a point ahead of justin cooper as they each have three wins each as well so it's gonna be Whoever wins is going to win a championship. Or oh, it could be Chase Sexton on his Honda as well. Another freeway heading to the finale. And then we've got Peters, Avalos, Brandon, Smith, Martin, Oldenburg, Lorenz around at the top 10. Ahead of Bailey, Osby, Covington in 40 behind Cunningham. Ahead of Mira in short chase. And we've got Falk, Alves, Carboy ran out at the top 20. At a Taft, Craig down in 22nd. In Shaw, Hunter as well, Joey Crowner in the top 25, We've got the German round at the top 30, Stocker. Then around at the top 40 is Melvin, looking further down. Top 50 is Keith, Seafoss. Top 60 is Matthew Martin, it's only Jordan Barger's not scored a point. Then the 250 West, it's Dan Fernandez, who's got five victories, the most of everyone, and he's sent by 10 points ahead of Mikel Rath, who's got three victories. And Adam in that third with a single victory head of Colt Nichols. So once again, it is a three-way fight into the season finale. And then you've got the Cotters, RJ Hampshire, Michael, McAdoo, Hayes, and Bloss. 
Well, Garrett just outside the top 10 of Cantrell, Harrison, Stalin, and Castillo, Lopez, Mariam, Wageman, Wilson, and Rascon. Round out top 30 is Howe. Top 40 is Hearn. As everyone scored points, all 48 riders got at least five points with Joey Howard in at last. So, obviously, it seems to be three way title fights is in fashion this autumn. Let's see who comes out on top of this spring, actually, I would say. We're in total because it normally end next month, the season. But, Sarah, for watching, and we'll find out who will win the championship next time.